Hi, and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. It's Lois here, and um, something a bit different. I've decided to reintroduce my daily sky practice into my creative process at home. So in the studio, I'm going to be painting one sky a day for the next however long I feel like doing it. And I decided that I might just as well film it just to sort of um, share it with you. So if anyone else fancies having a go at a daily sky practice, then you can uh, use the hashtag, hashtag Lois Davidson Art and um, on Instagram. And I shall check the hashtag every few days and, and have a look. I shall tag my own work there as well. And just to be clear at the start, I'm not trying to make a finished painting here. I'm literally just practising my skies on the backs of old paintings, that sort of thing. So this is the sort of thing that I do for fun. There's no pressure because I'm not trying to make a finished painting. I'm not trying to make anything that I want to sell um, or impress anybody with. This is just studio time. This is what I do when I'm practising. And hopefully I shall generate some ideas with this um, daily practice to bring into my own finished paintings. I'm using this palette today. I've got all sorts of colours left over here. There's some lavender blue, Payne's grey, indigo, burnt umber, raw sienna um, and burnt sienna. So today I'm going to start off just using what's in my palette and then some days I might be in the mood to paint a particular colour sky but today I'm just going to use up what's there. My paper is Saunders Waterford hot pressed so it's a lovely smooth paper and my board's at an angle of about 45 degrees so gravity will help with the painting. If you decide that you'd like to um, try one sky practice a day and join me then please share your results on Instagram and use the hashtag um, Hashtag Lois Davidson Art and I shall really enjoy seeing your sky practices. So that's it. Today's practice turned out to be quite short. I think the important thing with skies, for me anyway, is to know when to stop. And I wasn't expecting this sky to come together quite so quickly, but when you've got a beautiful, soft, atmospheric sky like this, filled with drama and light, then it's good just to stop. If I'd worked into it any more, then I probably wouldn't have improved it. I would have made it just look probably overworked and maybe contrived. At the moment, the way the paint is just covering the page with a film of undisturbed paint and water is really lovely. So now I'm just going to leave it to dry at a slight angle uh, just to make sure that I don't get any cauliflowers or runs. And here's how it's dried. I think it's dried pretty much how I left it. And luckily I didn't get any runs or cauliflowers. Now I'm really pleased with this as day one of my new routine of um, sky practice 
And while this wet in wet technique is fairly unpredictable and I wouldn't be able to reproduce that with practice, I can paint plenty of skies of a similar um, type and style. And that's what this sky practice is going to be all about. Um, just discovering exactly what I can do and what skies I like um, and what methods I like, what methods I don't like. And then I can just keep practicing, keep trying and experimenting with new ideas. And hopefully my skies will become much more fluent um, for my actual landscape paintings themselves. So I hope you enjoyed that. Please um, leave us a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And if you decide to have a go at painting one sky a day with me, then don't forget on Instagram, use the hashtag, hashtag Lois Davidson Art. And I shall really look forward to seeing um, how you get along with your sky practices. Well, I hope you'll join me again tomorrow about the same time for day two. Take care. See you again soon and happy painting. Bye.